Hi my dear friends, welcome to Pharma Job Alert YouTube channel. My dear friends, in this video we are going to learn about corrective action and preventive action. So under ICH Q10 pharmaceutical quality system. So my dear friends, if you are visiting our channel for the very first time, don't forget to subscribe to Pharma Job Alert YouTube channel. So let's get started. So and also turn on that notification bell icon. So corrective action and preventive action kappa. So my dear friends in pharmaceutical companies there must be a system for implementing the corrective actions and preventive action uh, which result mainly from the compliance product rejections non conformances and also you have heard about recalls deviations audits and regulatory inspections and findings. So a structured approach to the investigation process should be used to determine the root cause. So identification through the following sources and uh, and uh, doing a structured approach to the investigation process to determine the root cause and the level of effort formality and the documentation of the investigation should commensurate with the level of risk in line with the ICHQ9 so kava methodology should result in product and process improvement and enhanced product and process understanding so let us move on to the next slide. So what is corrective action? So this is an action to eliminate the cause of the detected non-conformity or other undesirable situations. We have already discussed, discussed these undesirable situations, how they come in the first slide. So next is corrective action is taken to prevent the reoccurrence, whereas preventive action is taken to prevent the occurrence. So here you can see this is preventive action, an action which is taken to eliminate the cause of potential non-conformity so we are taking preventive measures so to avoid undesirable potential situation so this is about what is kappa corrective action preventive action and so as i already mentioned it is a part of pharmaceutical quality system so my dear friends coming to the next thing applications of kappa in pharmaceutical product life cycle which include uh, the kappa is useful in pharmaceutical development to understand the process and technology transfer to identify the problems and count while doing the product transfer from r d to the production area and commercial pro problems arisen in commercial manufacturing and also product discontinuation even though the product is discontinued so Kappa must be carried out for the product in the market. So let's move on to the next slide. So my dear friends coming to the steps in Kappa corrective action and preventive action. So these include identification of the problem carrying out the investigation taking either corrective action and preventive action and verification and monitoring. So in simple the steps in kappa include initiate corrective and preventive action so we need to define the problem so use uh, suitable approaches for investigating the cause and uh, designing an action plan verifying or validating the plan and implementing the action plan conduct to the effectiveness check for the implemented action plan and closing the corrective and preventive action so every de the department concerned with the taking up the kappa must be very uh, careful and every person support is needed in order to do either corrective or preventive action so because it is an important part of pharmaceutical quality system so these are the details about kappa in short so thank you for watching my dear friends so if you wish to learn more about these you can visit the official website of ICH in that in pharmaceutical quality system section uh, 3.2.2 I think so please check it so in that corrective and preventive action is there so go through that. Thank you for watching.